guys? How's it going? Hey, dude, what are you doing, football. man? Just play a little bit of football, Pastor dude, Jason. How can you play football by yourself? You need to be part of a team. Oh, I just, you know? I was just doing it by myself. I don't know. I thought that dude, was a team. Dude, every, uh, you, you can't be a team by yourself. You need oh. other people in your team. Gotcha. Okay, so you need people in our life. Yeah, like, yeah. Like, like you and and. Hey, Mr. Christian, what's up? What's up, what's up Mr. What's up, Christian? What's up, guys? What's up? I was trying to tell Mr. David here that you just can't play football by yourself. You need to be part of a team. Mm -hmm. everyone, everyone that plays football is part of a team. It's true. Mm -hmm. So true. Guys, listen, we're going through a series called Game On. And in this series, guys, we are talking about, well, being a part of a team and, being, yeah. and playing football. Is, it's super cool, guys. So here's the big idea for today. You're on a team, and you need to stick with your team. Wow. That makes sense. So that makes sense what you're saying, That's Pastor so Jason. Good. Well, here, let, me, let me break that down for you. Life as a believer in Jesus is a lot like being a part of a team. We are all on the same team, and we are all going for the same goal, even though we, we may have different jobs and play different parts. Sometimes it may seem difficult to be where you are on your team. The people of Israel faced that in the Old Testament, in our story this week, in Jeremiah 29, they were sad and scared, exiled from their homes, living in a foreign land, and God told them to do their best and try their hardest and grow in the land where they were living. He told them to stick with their team and he would be with them. Wow, so just like we just did just now, saying that as all a team, yep. we need to stick with our team. That totally makes That's sense. That's awesome. You know what it reminds me of? What? It reminds me of the Bible verse The Bible week. verse. The no. Bible verse this week. The Bible verse says this, For I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord. They are plans for good and not for disaster, to give you a future and a hope. Jeremiah 29, 11. <laughs> Like this, no, right? no. We, we gotta do it as a team. We gotta do it as a team? team. Can you guys do it as a team with us? Let's do this. Here we go. Mm -hmm. Bible first. Bible first. All right. Time. Here we time. go. Here we go. Here we go. For I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord. They are plans for good and not for disaster, to give you a future and a hope. Jeremiah 29 11. Ha, 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 ha. Guys, oh, just some man. announcements for you guys. Listen, we got Wednesday nights going on, and we have six different kids' growth groups. If you have not been there, you're not going to want to miss you it. You know what my favorite one you what guys is that? What is that? Which one? The Playground Games. <laughs> that is a really good one. I love that one. There's nothing better than throwing dodgeballs at people. You know what I'm saying? I, I agree. But then for those of you that like some arts and crafts, guess what? They're an arts and crafts one, too. Oh, that's And cool. also, there's a science one. So those of you that like science, do what? Dude, there's so many different growth groups out there. I, I can't even believe it. But listen, guys, come on Wednesdays. Come check them out. Man. Oh, man. What do you think this, about what about, what about what do you about the team? Then? This is awesome. Should we should, you know how like in a football team yeah, or a basketball yeah. team, they break it down at the end. Like okay, they all say okay. one word. Yeah, yeah. We should do that. All right. Let's all do right. it. One, two, three. Team. team.